Welcome back to KCTV English News. I'm Hee Jung Lee. The number of domestic flights to and from the province has exceeded the level from before the COVID-19 outbreak as the number of tourists visiting Jeju Island increases. According to the Jeju Regional Headquarters of the Korea Airports Cooperation, the number of domestic flights to and from Jeju reached 13,042 last month, nearly double the number of flights from the same period last year. In particular, there were 258 more flights compared to March 2019, which was before the COVID-19 outbreak. As the number of flights increased, the domestic supply of seats to and from Jeju also recovered to the pre-COVID-19 state, selling 2,439,000 seats last month. Harvesting for this year's greenhouse mandarin has begun. The Jeju Agricultural Research and Extension Services says that the first batch of greenhouse citrus this year was harvested at a farm in Sumangni Namonup Sogipo City on the 19th. This year's greenhouse mandarin harvesting took place two days earlier compared to last year, and the harvesting date has been moving forward little by little each year. The shipping price is expected to reach 10,000 won to 11,000 won per kilogram. Sogipo City will implement an online self-inspection system for real estate brokerage offices from next month. The online self-inspection system is a method in which brokerage offices access the Sogipo City Hall website and inspect themselves. 28 items are to be checked in the assessment, including posting brokerage office registration certificates, preserving signed contracts, and displaying false signs or advertisements. Sogipo City plans to conduct on-site inspections for brokerage offices that did not participate in the self-check inspections or places where complaints often occur. Jeju Island will conduct a survey on Memorial Stone contributors to inherit the spirit of sharing among the first generation of Jeju residents in Japan. Among the 8,500 Japanese contributors of Jeju descent listed in the 900 memorial stones, approximately 500 contributors were selected for the investigation. The province will conduct the investigation next month and establish a consolation plan for contributors. The International Peace Center Jeju is holding the Youth Artist Exhibitions through June 30th. Five young artists working in Jeju who participated in the exhibition helped to promote co-prosperity and healing for those affected by the Jeju April 3rd incident. Pre-reservation is required to visit the exhibition to prevent COVID-19 and only 30 visitors can enter the site per hour. It is the season for hydrangea in Huey Natural Park Come and visit the Hydrangea Festival. Enjoy a unique and modern take on the works of Monet, Renoir, and Chagall at the Bunker de Lumière. Thank you for joining us today at KCTV English News. Be sure to follow us on YouTube at KCTV eNews Jeju and on KCTV's VOD service. Have a great evening.